I'll drink anything that I can that has alcohol in it. I will drink whatever I can get a hold of. Hairspray, mouthwash, hand sanitizer. Oh my gosh. Anything toxic, just to change the way I feel. I'll drink perfume, vanilla extract, body spray, mosquito spray. I've looked at every bottle to see what the ingredients are, and if it has the alcohol in it, I would drink it. I've gone into the Dollar Tree and drank the mouthwash. I've gone into Home Depot and drank the hand sanitizer. There is no limit to how much I'll drink. I'll just keep going until I pass out or end up in the ICU. I'll do whatever I can to get buzzed and stay buzzed. Once I black out, I have no idea what happens to me. Sometimes I have to collect receipts to figure out where I've been. Hand sanitizer. I've woken up in the ICU over 10 times with a breathing tube down my throat, not even remembering how I got there. Look, she bought four total. This is another receipt. Oh my gosh, she has like six total bottles. I've OD'd more times than anybody should. I've been in this psychiatric hospital over 20 times. <laughs> my highest blood alcohol level I've ever had was 0.512, and that is like nearly death. I don't like myself when I'm doing it, but I don't like myself when I'm sober either. I'm trying to sober up. You said right that now. yesterday that you were going to sober up, sober and you drank again. Like. I'm trying to sober up right now. I put myself in positions where I'm really compromised. I've driven under the influence many, many times. If you Google my name, all my mug shots come up. I'm tired of living in this cycle, and I just can't seem to find a way out. Once I start drinking, it's all or nothing. Like, I, I can't quit. Okay, Tawny hasn't spoken to her daughter since her recent hospital admittance, and Brittany hasn't seen Erica in a year. So, Erica, please come on out and join us. Well, Erica, how are you feeling? Um... I'm like really happy to be here. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling scared. Yeah. What are you scared about? Um, just like facing the reality. Like I was watching that backstage and just like looking at the, my reality. Uh -huh. oh, yes, I always wanted a doctor film napkin. Yeah, well, there you go. So when you look at yourself in a hospital bed with a tube coming out of your mouth. If someone else were to do that to themselves, I would be like really sad, but like, it's like, why do I do that to myself? And like, not even care. Like, I would never want someone to drink hand sanitizer. Like, I'd be scared for them. So we can talk about why at some other time. We can sit around and pontificate about your childhood. But right now, you're killing yourself, and you apparently have gone so far that you could give a less about the impact on other people in your life, your mother, your sister, you're willing to go and, and compromise her sobriety and drag her down into the gutter with you. There's, there's no boundary, right? No, it's like selfish. And oh, yeah. So why are you here? Because I don't want to keep doing what I'm doing. Oh, come on. You've been to treatment 17 times. Like 30 times. You've been to 13 for uh, eating disorder and 17 for alcohol. So you've been 30 treatment centers. You're O for 30. Like, it's just so many people, like, love me and, like, got me here and care about me. And, like, if I can't care about myself, like, I literally stayed sober for the past 16 days just because, like, I didn't, like, didn't want to do, like, the easy thing for once. I wanted to do, like, the harder thing, and it was hard, but, like, I wouldn't be, like, here right now if I didn't want, like, help. Well, hey there. Thanks so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, I do want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what's going on. You just might end up right here with me on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!